Fire investigators are working to figure out what caused this massive fire at a metal scrapyard off Allen's Avenue overnight. The company that owns the scrapyard is claiming arson, but the fire chief says there is no evidence to suggest that. Meanwhile, calls for change are growing louder after this fire. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live with the changes some community members and leaders want to see. Alex? Shannon, neighbors, state and local leaders say this fire overnight was the last straw and they're now pushing for this metal scrapyard to be shut down. Have a day of reckoning on Allen's Avenue. People who live in the Washington Park neighborhood are fed up with the Rhode Island recycled metal scrapyard off Allen's Avenue, especially after last night's fire. Unfortunately, this wasn't the first time that this has happened. It likely won't be the last time. They're concerned about the pollution. You can smell the asphalt, the sewage. Uh, you know, it's nasty, nasty stuff down there. And their health, especially since the area is known to have one of the highest asthma rates in the state. The air quality issues are off the charts. You know, you wake up to the toxic smell of burning metal. Um, people I know here have ear monitors and they went nuts. They went off the charts. So their biggest question is, when are they going to shut them down? When are they going to be able to shut them down? Providence City Councilman Pedro Espinal says he's working on a resolution to do just that. It's something that we can no longer tolerate. Our community deserves better. Especially since Espinal says Rhode Island Recycling Metals doesn't have a license to operate and is breaking a cease and desist order the city issued a month ago. For too long, they've been getting away with this. Neighbors relieved some action is being taken. And do something, do something so, you know, we could breathe. You know, we cannot be victimized any longer. And Recycled Metals has been in an ongoing legal battle with the city for weeks, but an attorney for the business disputes the claim that it does not have a proper license to operate new at six. My colleague Alexandra Leslie will go over the latest developments and latest actions against the company. But for now, reporting live in Providence, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. The owners of a Providence scrapyard believe the fire late last night was set on purpose. But investigators tell us they aren't ready to make that connection just yet. Alex Torres Perez joins us now live from the capital city with what she's learned. Alex. Mike and Shannon, the company that owns this metal scrapyard is currently reviewing its surveillance video to see if the trespassers that they kicked out last night hours before that fire may have been the ones to have started it. However, the Providence Fire Chief is still hesitant to call this an arson investigation. For eight hours, Providence firefighters battled the flames on this 100 by 100 foot pile of scrap metal off Allen's Avenue, smoke billowing for hours and spreading across the Washington Park neighborhood. I have a friend in the community um, who's also a community activist who uh, had an asthma attack last night at 2.30 in the morning, um, shortly after this happened. Her kids both had asthma attacks as well. Like this that. isn't a nice wood stove kind of smoke, you know, campfire kind of smoke. This is, you know, waste. It is toxic metal and grease and all the things that are in it. Uh, it's, an, it's an industrial fire. DEM is still assessing the impact the massive fire had on the neighborhood. The company who owns the scrapyard, Rhode Island Recycled Metals, believes it was intentionally set since the pile that was on fire was made of non-combustible materials. But we have no indication at all that there's a suspicious component to it or an arson component to it. Um, however, we will determine every cause and try to see what indeed caused that fire. Meanwhile, people in the neighborhood want something done as this was the second fire at this particular scrap metal yard in recent years, and they're worried for their health. We're tired of it. We're tired of it and we're getting sick. It's not, it's enough is enough. We need help. Have a day of reckoning on Allen's Avenue. And Providence City Council Member Pedro Espinal is working on a resolution for the next city council meeting that would call for to shut down this metal scrapyard. But for now, reporting live in Providence, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.